Hey, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. You know, the Torah is so careful not to waste words. And yet in this week's Torah reading, the Torah seems to be doing just that. It details all these little pit stops that our ancestors made on their trek to the Promised Land. The Torah tells us by Yisub B'nai Yisrael Mi Ramses, they went from Ramses and they encamped in a place called Sukkot, and they went from Sukkot and they encamped in a place called Eitan, and they went from Eitan and they went to a place called, it goes on and on and on. And why, why, why all these little details as to where our ancestors stopped and encamped in the world? Why is that important? And the answer is because every moment and every experience and every place that our ancestors went through was another part of their spiritual development. Each stop along the way, the places where good things happened for our ancestors and even the places where not so good things happened represented another stage in their development of the Jewish nation. Rashi, the great biblical commentator, tells us that when the Jews went from a place called Chatzerot to Risma, Risma was so named because of the Lush and Hara, the slander that our ancestors spoke against the land of Israel, the spies, which caused them to have to wander in the wilderness. Now, why would we want to be reminded of that terrible event in our history? Because every part of life, every experience we go through, the good, the bad, and yes, even the ugly, is meant to be learned from. And therefore the Torah recounts every single place because we're supposed to learn from every moment and every experience and not think, oh, I failed, I need to erase that. No, failings, that's the way we learn, that's the way we grow. Famous Thomas Edison was once asked by a reporter how it felt to fail so much when he was trying to invent the alkaline battery. And he answered famously, he says, I never failed once. I just figured out the 2000 ways that won't work, right? We learn, we develop ourselves through trial and error, right? Failing, falling, right? The, one of the Hasidic masters, Rablevi of Bardichev, once said that you, you, know, you can learn so much from watching a baby walk, learning how to walk. You ever see a baby learning how to walk? It's like watching a drunk person waddle around, fall down, stand up, fall down. Why doesn't the baby just stay down? Somehow the child naturally intuits that in order for the child to be able to learn to walk, it needs to fall. Falling is how we learn. That's how we grow. That's how we develop ourselves. And that is perhaps one of the reasons we're going through the period of time right now. It just began uh, Rosh Chodesh Av, the nine days leading up to Tisha B'Av, why would we want to remember the destruction of our temple and the Christian crusades and all the persecutions and the Inquisition and all the sins that we committed that, that brought us into exile? Because if we don't learn from our failings, and our, we will continue them. And, we, and, and, the, and they happen so we can learn from. And that, that's so important. And we just end with very famous teaching that God commands Moses to put not only the luchot, the intact tablets he brought down from Sinai, but the shivrei luchot, the broken shards of the first set of tablets, which he broke because he saw his people worshiping the golden calf. God said, I want those broken tablets also kept in the Ark of the Covenant. Because we don't just learn from the intact tablets. We also learn from the broken tablets, the tablets that came about as a result of the sin of the sin of the golden calf. We don't erase that from our history. We don't erase the temple destructions from history. We learn from it. We fall, we get back up because the falling enables us to become the best possible versions of ourselves. My bracha to all of us as we enter this beautiful Shabbat and we enter the nine days leading into Tisha B'Av. Let's learn from our mistakes. Let's learn from our history, even the not so great parts of our past because they are meant and they are designed to help us grow just the same. Shabbat Shalom.